Drew Roller, um, the founder and CEO of uh, Better Spot, which you'll see in just a second. We've come to realize, my team and I have come to realize, uh, that people just don't trade space very well. Um, if you've ever been in a crowded situation, whether that's a bar or a cafe, airport terminal, or, um, any crowded first come first serve situation, people have a very bad time finding when people are going to leave and figuring out how to approach them without this weird act of what we call spot creeping. Spot creeping is when you kind of hover around somebody and they don't really want you to be there, but you kind of want to do it so you can be the first one to take over the seat. So we realize that there is a disconnect between people that have space in these situations and people that need space. So we set about creating service that gets these two people essentially to talk to each other in crowded situations. Obviously, there's the people that have the space and then there's the people that uh, are in need of some type of space. So the market helps you in any crowded first come, first serve situation. Right now, our, our top places where we see it being used are bars. This could be an everyday uh, type of place. Cafes, you could imagine midterms, uh, especially around uh, colleges, for example. Airports are great. Uh, if you've ever had a flight canceled and everybody runs for the seats with plugs, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, restaurants that are first come, first serve uh, situations are good for us. So as the world gets more and more populated, we want to give all of you a little bit of ammo. Uh, instead of just sitting there and staring down somebody who looks like they're going to leave or kind of hovering, we want to give you a way to be able to reach out to somebody and say, hey, if it's possibly worth your while, um, I really don't want to leave or have to go to the next place or guess what's going to be at the next place. So I'm willing to just throw this out there. If anybody would give up this type of space within the next certain amount of minutes, I would compensate you, and then you're able to throw out a, uh, what we call a spot request. So these are just this is just a screen grab from uh, Hotspots, which is just a list of uh, types of spots that we saw this last Friday. Um, obviously, most of these are bars uh, or lounges, uh, but for the most part, You'll have people that will stand up for a little while, and then people that um, will make will finally make the decision whether or not they're just going to leave, um, as opposed to just dealing with people, uh, you know, I guess uh, taking over the seats and, and just never ever giving them up. So what I'm going to do outside of showing this, I want to keep it a really simple presentation. I want to go right to the app and demo the app. So this marketplace, by the way, is live. This is not a demo. It is a live demo, but it is, it is uh, people are trading for live dollars, just uh, so you know. All right. Now, if any of you are local, and you obviously all are, uh, you'll recognize some of these places tend to be more popular around Boston. Um, if you can see one of these, this is somebody that's out there that's saying, hey, in this case, I'm at the top of the hub. Um, they would pay. $34 if anybody were able to give up uh, a seat that happens to be, uh, I guess, on the window. Um, for these other ones, maybe Dolly, it looks like that's a type of uh, bar stool that they want to have somebody trade. Yep, and it happens to be near here. So I'm going to show you how to do something, what we call a, a spot request. A spot request is when you reach out to people in the venue that you're at and ask are they willing to trade with you? So, uh, say Meat Hall, which is a local bar. Okay. Now, okay. So, every market has its its uh, supply and demand. In the case of what we're doing uh, on the demand, I'm going to request a type of spot as opposed to posting. So I'm going to go to, I want something at the end of the bar because it happens to be close to the, uh, the end of the bathrooms where it's kind of seal where it's hot. So view, and if somebody were to give up, say give up a bar stool for me, and I'm going to throw out $8. So my offer sits uh, connected to Meat Hall for the next 15 minutes. 
And if anybody happens to be there and they happen to be in the process of getting close to leaving, uh, they can answer and say, you know what, I'm not going to leave you hanging out. I'm willing to speed up my time here and leave sooner rather than later. Um, hosting a spot is a little bit different, but it's still, oops, it's actually cool because Sorry, I had to register their accounts. Um, maybe, maybe we can take questions. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do something that's on the uh, on the podium as well. Any questions while I do this? Anyone? Uh, is Buddy? it is it iOS? Right now, we're coding the iOS version. It'll be done in about uh, two to three weeks. So if I was sitting at Meet Hall, how would I get this request? Like, I haven't posted anything, but I want to give up my spot. How does that look like? Um, if you're sitting at Meet Hall and you received a, a notification, um, you'll have to be part of the community in order to receive the notification. Do I need to check in when I'm at Meet Hall? No. No. If you're in the general vicinity, a geofence notification will check you in automatically. Seems to me networking effect is critical for this. Community. Absolutely. How do, you start, how do you prime that pump? Uh, we have a couple of different uh, viral elements. You can obviously invite your friends off of Snapchat. Snapchat. The geofence notifications are things. Um, we allow you to do multiple spot requests, so you can say, "Hey, I don't want just this one type of spot here. I'd like it maybe over here, or over here as well." So you can spread out the net. So we've got a couple of viral elements that I think that we built into this that are going to start the network effect, and it seems like it's working. If this catches on. How will you prevent people from exploiting this by seat squatting? Well, you can't predict where you're going to get an offer. Um, if you're part of the community, you'll receive a notification if somebody is, is saying, hey, would you trade? But unless you just happen to be supremely awesome at knowing when places are going to get crowded, and some people are, it would be pretty hard to kind of gate it. But you know, any market at some point may have people who will try it. How are the funds? Uh, electronically, Stripe does all our payment processing, but we're building in PayPal and Venmo pretty soon. Uh, sorry, let me just get some in. Can you split the chat between your friends? Not quite, but it's a good idea because let's be honest, if you're looking for, in this case, two bar stools, um, why should you be alone in pays? Both. If some of my people from, from our company want to do my trading for me, can I just can I have them do the trading for me? Sure. sure. If I'm doing something else. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. yeah, I, that's all I want to know. <laughs> yeah. um, do you have any sort of auction platform where you can bid to the highest? Right now, we don't. Um, you can still accept. Uh, um, you can still accept multiple offers or let them bid up, but we haven't had the arbitrage yet to that point. That will happen soon in the future because, let's be honest. There have been plenty of times when you've turned and looked around and you've been like, wow, this place has, this has some value. What percentage do you take out of the... We take 10% of whatever the person who is giving up the spot is willing to give it up for. So that in, in the case of a $10 trade, we make a dollar. And it's charged to the person who's asking somebody to trade the spot. Uh, do the bars, they... Uh, you're getting requested know about your app, and if so, how do they feel about it? Um, actually, the bars that we're working with right now like it because it, it's a way for them to get people out of the spaces. And in the past, they do all these really kind of shady things like say, hey, take your time, or uh, where are you going next? All these you know, little kind of hints to get you out. And when we first approached them, we said, hey, you know, let's, let's try to optimize the people that are in here. If they're sitting at a, a space too long and they're not buying, you really want them out. And they said, yeah, we absolutely do. And I said, well, do you have a means to do that? And they said, not really. And I said, well, what if the public were able to ask them on their own, say, look, it means something to me. I don't want to go someplace else. I don't want to guess what's happening at the next place. So um, this is a, a last resort thing. And they said, yeah. So we've gotten a very favorable response. Do you have any way to verify the correct buyer? Yes. Person taking your seat. Yes. Uh, when somebody accepts your offer, we swap headshots uh, with each other. So if you're the one posting the swap, your job is to essentially stay where you are until I show up. So if you know what I look like, I know what you look like. 
We also open an in-app text messaging box. So say it were very, very, very crowded, um, you could actually just say, I can't seem to find you. Could you do X through the in-app uh, text messaging? And by the way, I just want to say this isn't just bars. Uh, we've seen better spot use actually in a lot of different places that where space has value. Um, planes, plane trades have been actually very popular. People don't like sitting next to certain people on planes. You can choose your seat, but you can't choose your neighbor. So uh, we've actually seen that. Bars are just a natural because they're always crowded. Uh, maybe the last question. Are you planning to integrate Facebook Connect? So I don't have to be uploading my photos. I try to create an account that doesn't have to sign up with Facebook. You're right. You're absolutely right. That is definitely something we need to do. We have a very small dev team. I mean, we've got great people, uh, top of the top of the line people, but we're still a, a small shop. We're only about three people right now. And sorry, this is the last one. Are you still going to do spot scout? Am I still going to do spot scout? No. This is actually. This is just about. Is, this is not parking spots or vehicle spots. This is any type of space that your body can occupy in a private situation. So again, bars, cafes, planes, trains, movie theater, gyms. We saw it use their gym ones, which is kind of cool. All right, thank you very much. Thanks.